Hi, my name is Eden Olson, and I'll be sharing my research on Mary Leakey with you all. In my presentation, I'll be discussing the following. First, I'll give you an introduction to who Mary Leakey is, her education, and early work in anthropology. Then I'll give you some background information on her husband, Louis Leakey, and their marriage. After that, I will discuss their work together in anthropology. Following, I'll explore Mary's continued research after her husband's death and her impacts on female anthropologists today. Finally, I will end with my conclusion and citations. Mary Leakey is a famous English paleoanthropologist known for her groundbreaking discoveries in the 20th century. Mary Leakey was born Mary Douglas Nicole on February 6, 1913. Her father was an artist and would often bring her to see ancient cave paintings in France throughout her childhood. She gained a love for anthropology and archaeology at a very young age. Mary Leakey studied archaeology at the University College London. While Mary never graduated from a university, she has been honored with several degrees. Leakey said, I have worked for them by digging in the sun. Leakey started her career in archaeology as an illustrator. Louis Leakey is a famous Kenyan paleoanthropologist and archaeologist. He is famous for his discoveries in Africa and his confidence in his work. He studied primates and human evolution with the help of Mary Leakey. In 1932, Mary was asked to illustrate Louis Leakey's book, Adam Ancestor. Their professional relationship soon became romantic, and they were married in 1937. Mary and Louis Leakey are one of the most famous scientist couples in the 20th century. Their work together is very well known throughout the anthrop anthropological and scientific community. Mary and Louis spent the majority of their research in East Africa. Their first major discovery was on the Rozinga Island in Lake Victoria in 1943, when Mary found a partial skull fossil of, a, of the Proconsul Africanus, one of the earliest ancestors of apes and humans dating around 16 million years ago. Their second large discovery wasn't until 1959 in the Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania, when Mary again excavated a 1.8 million year old hominid skull named Zinjanthropus Boisei. Because of this discovery, a whole new group of hominids emerged, now known as the Australopithecus Boisei. In 1960, their discoveries continued to the Olduvai Gorge. Mary found remains of the first member of the genus Homus, Homo habilis, dating between 1.4 and 2.3 million years old. This discovery provided evidence that our genus Homo, Homo has in fact evolved from Africa. Along with the fossil remains, Mary found several stone tools, also known as the Olduvai tools, providing evidence that Homo habilis was the first hominid to use and make tools. Throughout their 40 years of working together in the field, Louis Leakey wrote a total of 15 books, only giving credit to Mary and two of them. During that same time, Mary wrote two books, giving credit to Louis in both of them. In the few books that Louis did give credit to Mary, it was for her illustrations and not for her findings. There is much dispute over Mary's lack of accreditation in their work. Their son, Richard Leakey, credits his mother in this statement. Her commitment to detail and perfection made my father's career. He would not have been famous without her. She is much more organized and structured and much more of a technician. He was much more excitable, a magician. Other scholars also noticed a difference in their work. E. Baton Worthington said in an interview, Lewis was always a better publicist than scientist. Mary was the real fossil hunter. Mary constantly lived in Lewis's shadow throughout their marriage and partnership. In 1972, Lewis Leakey died of a heart attack by the age of 1969. By Lewis's retirement, he had published 17 books and numerous articles and research papers. His research and legacy were continued on by his wife and son. After Lewis's death, Mary continued her research in Africa until she retired in 1948. Before her retirement, she would make one of the most incredible discoveries in anthropological history. In 1967, in Laoti, Tanzania, Mary Leakey discovered the earliest human footprints. Leakey had discovered ancient hominid footprints dating back to 3.6 million years ago. The footprints are from our early ancestors, Australopithecus afrinaris, one of the first bipedal hominids. 
Anthropologists have used these footprints to study the way this hominid moved and walked. These footprints are perfectly preserved by volcanic eruption million years ago. Mary Leakey has been a great inspiration to anthropologists, scientists, and women all over the world. Her work in Africa, while sometimes shadowed by her husband, was not forgotten. In 1975, she won the Gold Medal Award from the Society of Women Geographers for her work in Tanzania and her discoveries in paleoanthropology. She has also won the Linus Gold Medal Award from the Royal Swedish Academy, the Elizabeth Blackwell Award, and many honorary doctorate degrees. As for Mary's perspective on her gender, she has said in interviews that I was never conscious of it, I never felt disadvantaged. Mary was a strong woman who was never discouraged by being in the shadow of her husband. Mary Leakey once said, there is so much underground still. It is a vast place and there are plenty more under the surface for future generations that are better educated. On December 9, 1996, Mary Leakey passed away at the age of 83. Her research and dedication to our human history are continued through her children and her students. Mary has paved the way for women to advance in a career that was dominated by men. We have learned so much about our history because of her research and dedication to, to anthropology. She has been an inspiration to anthropologists everywhere and myself included. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all learned a little bit more about Mary Leakey and her accomplishments within anthropology. If you want to learn more, here are my citations.